knowledge our privilege of being born in india we all feel really proud to be an indian today we are celebrating our 75th independence day of our country long back 1947 we got our independence we know that now we are living in this independent india only because of the struggle of our freedom fighters It is important that we should remember each one of them today. 
Hence, to conclude, I feel that it is the responsibility of every citizen to rise and make the country strong in all aspects. So let us be one, united we stand, divided we fall. On behalf of our management, Reverend Father Vijay Kumar, Secretary of MDES, Reverend Father Avinash, Administrator of MDES, Priest in Charge, Reverend Father Praveen Kumar, CEO, Madam Joyce Lobo, Principal, Mr. Michael Joshua, Nursery Headmistress, Mrs. Illaversi, Teaching and the Non-Teaching Faculty, Wishing you all Happy Independence Day. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat. Thank you. Freedom struggle. Men 
who are known for their peaceful methods such as Swami Vivekanand, Ramakrishna Paramahamsa, Arabindo Ghosh, Rabindranath Tagore and many others started spreading the word to the people that everyone must be passionate about gaining freedom. After World War I, the British imposed stricter legislation in India to curb the people. They felt for political extremenesses. While all hope was diminishing, emerged a man whom the country began to revert, Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi. Gandhi became the undisputed leader of the freedom struggle. He advocated the policy of Satyagraha and civil disobedience. Mahatma Gandhi, as he was known, inspired millions to follow in his path. His vision to the freedom struggle to the national level. Irrespective of religion, caste and occupation, all the people like farmers, fishermen followed Gandhiji's path for the freedom struggle. On 13th April 1919, the British, led by General Dyer, massacred hundreds of unarmed civilians, including women and children who were attending a meeting. This incident is known as Jallianwala Bagh tragedy in Amritsar, which triggered off nationwide hatred for the British rule. In response, Gandhi launched the non-cooperation movement. He urged the people to refuse to pay taxes and forsake British title and honours, and also boycotted schools, colleges and foreign goods, which was a serious problem for the government. Gandhi embarked on a mission of about 400 kilometers from Ahmedabad to Dandi, famously known as the Dandi March. And at Dandi, the law was broken by making salt from sea water. The British responded by making widespread harass and firing on the crowds. Gandhi too was sent to jail a number of times. But seeing the revolutionary activists died down, millions of people joined political parties and fought for the freedom and finally gained victory over British rule.